Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So in today's video, I'm going to... <sighs> hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So can we first take a minute and admire this beautiful background? Like, I can have a messy room and then still have a beautiful background of my video. And also, sorry about that squeaking. It's my fan and it's really hot in here and I don't want to turn it off. But by the time I edit this video, it'll probably be out. But if not, let's just think of it as background noise. So if you cannot tell by the title or title, wherever it is, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my iPhone 6 Plus. So I've had my phone for not quite a year yet. Um, like I got it a little bit before the summer. But yeah, I have the iPhone 6 Plus and I might get the iPhone 6 as soon I don't know um, so yeah I just have the iPhone 6 Plus in gold and I have a purple case and then it just has like pink detailing and then the inside is pink so let's go ahead and get on to what is on my iPhone 6 Plus so for this video I'm just gonna be holding my phone up and showing you guys what is on it because I don't want to pay for that app that records your phone and I do not want to like record my phone because I want to keep this background and I don't know like I worked hard I just thought of th about this before I started filming this video and I was like oh my gosh it's such a good idea so this is going to be in a few videos now and I'm just so proud of myself about this but anyways let's go ahead and get started so my this is what my lock screen looks like it's just me and my friend um, and this was before we were going to the eighth grade social last year um, so yeah, we have our dresses on, and yeah, that's my lock screen. So I just use my fingerprint. I have a passcode, but my finger is a lot easier. So I just have two pages. You can see here. So this is my home screen. That's Bay, and that's me. And then I have that little um, quick thing I don't know what it's called but yeah that's my home screen you can't really see his face because that light is shining but let's go ahead and get started with the app so first on the first page I just have like the stuff that comes with your phone and stuff like that so I have FaceTime calendar photos and then the camera I have the weather the clock which I have a whole bunch of alarms on I have maps and videos notes Reminders, music, stocks, game center, iTunes, the app store, what is that, um, sorry, news, settings, wallet, health, iBooks, I'll get to that in a second, that's podcast, no, feedback, find my iPhone and find friends, and then here, the reason I have this folder is because I don't like to keep all the stuff that comes on my phone on another page I don't know it just really aggravates me for some reason so in this extra folder this is just what it looks like I have compass tips voice memos contacts Apple watch podcast and calculator so that's all of the things that come with my phone and then I'll really quickly go down here so I have phone mail Safari and text messages um, like, I know some people, like, put their favorite apps down there, but I don't know. I just like to have the basic stuff down there just because it's easy, and I pretty much use all of these every day. So now on to my next page. I only have two pages, like I said, and this is where all my apps are. So first I have Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can do that. It's right here, and it's also right here on the screen. It's just Sydney underscore Joe. So then I have Facebook, that, but that's more like personal, and I also have Snapchat. Here is my Snapchat. It'll be right here. You can scan it right here if you want to. Um, yeah, it's just sydney.jill. Moving on, next I have Kick, which is personal, and then I have SoundCloud, which I listen to all of my music on. Then next I have YouTube, which you guys are on now. You guys should definitely subscribe to my channel. I have something really special coming up for the Christmas season. And then moving into this folder right here, that is just called Extras. And that's basically a folder where I don't know where to put stuff, um, but I use it. 
<clears throat> so this is what it looks like. So I have Kicks on Fire, which if you're a sneakerhead like me and you love like Jordans and stuff, you guys should definitely download this app. And this is just what it looks like. It shows you all of these shoes coming out. And it's definitely it definitely comes in handy when you want to buy some new shoes. So the next thing I have on here is Pinterest. I don't really get on that this like that. Well, I get on it a lot, but I don't like follow people. I just like search things, like whatever I'm feeling I want to think about, like room decor. And next on here, I have Insta Size, which I edit my Instagram photos with. If you want a video on that, just let me know. And then I have messages for Facebook. And then I have right here, it's Ever Album, which is an app that, um, like whenever you take a picture on your phone it automatically saves to that app and basically you can have all of your photos but you can delete them off of your phone so you have storage that definitely comes in handy for me and then the next thing I have is musically this has been one of my favorite apps lately and I've been making a lot of musically so if you guys want to follow me it's right here and right here it's just same as my Instagram Sydney underscore Joe and the last two apps here I have Thriller if you don't know what app that is that's basically where you make your own kind of like music videos and then the last app I have on this page is um, iMovies and I just use this to edit my vlogs that I film on my phone next folder here are the games that I play um, first I have Tiny Tower and then I have Happy Wheels here is Smashy Road it's kind of like um, Flappy Bird but different um not flappy bird sorry um crossy road but different it's, involves a car and then i have headbands you have to pay for that game but i definitely say it's worth it and then i have fun run 2 i haven't played it in forever but it's still on there and then i have pop the lock it's one of my favorite games ever ever and then i have picks do Pix Duel, sorry, my friend told me to download it, but I haven't played it in a while. Then I have Madden Mobile, which is definitely a football game, but it's so addicting. Like the boys, at, I talk to a lot of boys at school because um, they're way cooler than girls. Um, no offense, but like, I can't explain it. Like, boys are really cool to hang out with, and in some of my classes, there's like way more boys than girls, but they play that game, and it's like, I don't know. Like, they got me definitely hooked on to it. So next, moving on to this folder here. Um, it's called Education. So first, I have Enmodo, which is a app where you can connect with your teachers and all of your classmates. It's like a Facebook, but educational. And your teacher can upload their the notes that you worked on at school. And then here, po po sorry, Campus Patrol. Sorry, they changed the name of it, so I couldn't think of it. Um, that's where I can check my grades and see how I'm doing in class. And then here, Clue is a period tracker. And I swear this is like the app. It like saves your life. Because like when you don't know when it's coming, like mine, it's crazy. You can look at this and basically you can, it tracks your period. And it totally saves my life. And I really request it if you guys need something like this like me so check it out the last app i have on my phone is group me which is basically a messaging app um that connects with your phone because my i'm a basketball cheerleader i made the team if you guys wanted to know and if you saw my what's in my cheer bag for football season i'm going to be doing one for basketball season but um basically it's just a messaging app so yeah and that's everything that is on my phone. I use this multitask thing. I'm not sure what the name is, but basically it looks like that little circle and you can drag it all around your screen. You can turn it on in your settings and basically it just has like easy things to get to like Siri and then your notification center, your home button if you're like your home button isn't working and then if your lock button isn't working, there's a lock, not right there, it's right there. So you can just click on it and it locks your phone. It can also take you to your control center, which is basically that thing that slides up on your phone. And there's just a whole bunch of different things. There's like lock rotation and then the volume. And then like if you want it to screenshot your phone, 
and then shake and then multitasking and different gestures and things it's really helpful um, but sometimes it can get annoying when it's like in your way for different things so yeah that's everything that's on my phone so that is everything that is on my phone I hope you guys enjoyed please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'm running out of video requests so let me know what you guys want to see down below I'm really excited for this Christmas season let me rant about something really quickly for everybody on YouTube I don't believe that you guys should be making I mean you can do whatever you want but I don't believe that you should celebrate Christmas before Thanksgiving like people have their Christmas trees up they're playing Christmas music on the radio like I love the Christmas season and I wish it was here now but I just think that you guys should like give thanks before you worry about Christmas because some people like I know a lot of people say that Christmas is to celebrate Jesus and stuff but which it is um, but some people out there like really just want Christmas for receiving presents and stuff um, and you guys really need to be thankful before you want to celebrate Christmas and get gifts and stuff because some people don't get gifts on Christmas so you should be thankful what you can't get on Christmas before Christmas but anyways that's just my opinion um, anyways Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think and video requests below. I have a lot planned for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.